The problem with the current system of money in politics is that candidates spend an extraordinary amount of time raising money from the tiniest slice of the 1% of America. And what that does is produce a Congress that's not sufficiently sensitive to what the rest of us think because they are so oversensitive to what the tiniest fraction of the 1% think. So Congress's attention becomes focused not on the most important issues to America or the most important issues to address in America. It gets focused on the issues that flush the most money into the campaign funding system. In the first quarter of last year, what was the number one issue that Congress spent its time dealing with? Right? We're in the middle of two wars. We had an extraordinarily high unemployment, unemployment problem. We were facing a government shutdown because of the deficit. We still have not addressed many issues around health care. We still have done nothing to address the problem of global warming. So there are a lot of important issues. What was the number one issue Congress spent its time dealing with? The bank swipe fee controversy. The question when you use a debit card, whether the banks get to uh, charge more or the retailers get to pay less. Because when they dance on that issue, going from one side to the other, thousands of dollars get showered down upon them by the funders who are so eager to get them to take one side of that issue or the other. Most Americans right now understand the corruption of the system. Most of the reform that we've seen in the past 30 years has been partial. It's been efforts to squeeze down on the opportunity for what's thought of as dirty money to get in the system without even thinking about how you're going to deal with creating opportunities for candidates to fund their campaigns with clean money. Sometimes my wife and I will be driving with our three young kids and they'll be very loud in the back of the car and my reaction is to turn around and say something like stop it or here's the rule you have to be silent. But her reaction is to turn around and give them something to do, game to play or some book to read. And, and that reaction is the more sensible reaction because you can't just stop people from doing something. You have to give them the chance to do something different. So the first thing the American Anti-Corruption Act does is, in my view, the most important. What it does is provide a way for ordinary Americans to participate in the funding of campaigns at a much higher level than they do right now. So by using a tax credit to essentially fund a voucher. It makes it possible for campaigns to be funded by the wide swath of Americans as opposed to the tiniest slice of the 1%. So we understand this is an important issue. We understand it's going to be incredibly difficult to fight it. But I think that if, if a wide range of us can get together to push, we could actually achieve something significant in reforming it.